Yes, if you're wondering, I am sitting in a massage chair. And it feels absolutely wonderful. Because yesterday stressed me out like big time. I caught one 13 incher. And yes, I'm starting practice uh, video on day two because I forgot my whole video bag. How dumb is that? That's just like stupid. So I'm borrowing a camera. And hopefully I can get y'all some good talking because yesterday just royally sucked. There was like a major tournament yesterday and there was 175 boats in it. Team tournament and they could throw the Alabama rig and there was only 18 limits, five fish limit. There was only 18 boats that caught five out of 175. Yeah. That doesn't look good. Then we got my boy Kyle. Kyle. What's happening? Ka Kyle caught a eight pounder yesterday. An eight pounder. But only one fish. <laughs> but I'll take it. Yeah, that one fish would have got you like in, in a check. In, in a check. Look at Mike. Mike's got his skirt hanging out below Let's his... Let's go, Dudley. It's not time to be we got... sitting in your little massage chair like you do all the time. 30 minutes till practice. Let's go. 30 minutes? That's like 30 more minutes of this massage is what I can tell you. Dudley, if you catch fish, you won't need a massage. Hey, this was... I made like 6,279 million cash yesterday for one 13 inch. I caught two yesterday. Dirt. That, hey, y'all put him on your fantasy. <laughs> put put him on your was fantasy. One of 14 inches and one of them was 13 inches, but they were two miles apart, so that's a pretty good pattern. Well. Right, I'm going fishing, Dudley. You yeah. sit in your little chair the rest here. of the day. We're, we're going. <laughs> see, see, this is a veteran. A veteran realizes that it's not going to be good. They, they're like a bunch of young spring chickens who are running around like all excited. Like the fish are really going to change from eight hours ago to this no. morning. You th you act like this whole lake is going to turn on. And I less already know it's going to suck, but I at least have to know some place where I can cast. Right now, I don't even know a place I can cast. It's like a lottery out there right now. What difference it made? All right, guys. I know we're, we're bad-mouthing, but it truly is... It truly was tough yesterday, so I'm going to try to get y'all some video on day two and day three of practice, but we're going. I'm at least going to explain to you my thought process of trying to catch them. You guys wait up for me, man. Wait up, wait up for me. We're not waiting on you. Wait up for me. You'll be in your chair. Five minutes. You'll be in your chair the next hour. Come on. Right now I'm <coughs> now I'm trying a darn rattle trap. As you can see, I'm on the flat. <coughs> you know, this is a big bar. A big flat, as you can see, you see the you can see the you can see all this blue. Well, of course, in the early spring. A lot of fish that are coming back in this, say, this arm right here, they'll get out on these flats before they actually move up on to the, you know, the bank line. So right now, I'm just taking a, taking a, you know, a uh, rattle trout, just trying out on, on this flat, see if we can find them somewhere. Out on this flat. I mean, they gotta be moving. I just don't understand. Why is the fishing so tough? I'm probably gonna end up looking like a fool come tournament day. Right now, if the tournament was started, it ain't looking good. I mean, I'm telling you, the first two days I have tried everything I, I know but right now it's called a rattle trap out on flats
Man, there should be one right there. Look at that. Eating the corner up. Oh my gosh, there should be one right there. <sighs> how can you not, how can there not be a bass right here on this corner right here? I mean, you got straight bank, and I mean right there. Oh my gosh, one should be crushing it. How do you not? Whew. Thought that was going to be him. How do you not get one right there? I know you're sitting right there, Bass. I reckon. Unless they had a fish kill in this stupid place. Look at that. You got straight bank, one nipple of rock sticking out. I mean, that has bass written all over it. All over it. Man, there should be one right here. We got the birds chirping. Sunny. Water warming up. Anytime you're like this, I mean the water's 54 degrees right now. Even though the water's muddy, them things should be like, you know, sunning, getting up here in the back of the pockets. That's when you can, you know, spinnerbait does really well in the 50s. And it's like, like this cast right there, like there should be like five bass sunning right up here in the tail end of that pocket, even though you can't see them, you know that's what they're doing. And like, we should be getting bit. Do they not know what time of year it is? All the magazines say I mean, there should be one on this bridge. Water is perfect color. I mean, right there. Like, he should be. Like, that should be automatic. <clears throat> like, this cast should be. That should be get the net. That should be, like, all. All right, right about look at that coming all over it like that sh golly he should have crushed it look at that you can't tell me there ain't one on that come on baby one log sitting out here on the flat Come on. Come on. That ought to be one right there. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah? You don't want the spinner bait? I'll get your butt. I'll get your butt. That ought to be, get the net, golly, how do you not be sitting on an isolated log on a flat when the water's 50 something degrees, stupid lake, how do you not, right, I mean he should have been just clobbering that. But the only good thing that's kept me in saying this today, the last day of practice, I'm watching, I'm watching Major League Fishing live, watching them catch them, and I'm just piddling around like, a, like I'm a first grader out on the lake. Dang, gum it! 
Right, right between that crack. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right about now. Toosh. Gosh. Did you not read the FLW magazine that says you're supposed to be right there? You stupid, dumb bass. You uneducated, educated, can't read bass. Dead gummit. Yay. I caught one on the tree. I'm on them. I'm on them. I am on them. I mean, he choked it too. I am on them. It could be something though. Like, you know, we got a bunch of, of course you can see lay downs. That might be something. You never know. You never know. The water temperature though is, I mean, it's, it's 60 degrees. Golly, 60 degrees. Uh, I don't know. Dude, that was him. Look at the boil. Absolutely. That was a smack. I think. This is... This is getting real, guys. Man, my... I said it at that, uh... At Lake Seminole, like I had a really tough practice, and I'm sure if you guys have watched and and seen on the video that you've seen how what everybody's saying, how tough it is, dude. You got the water temperature like 52 to 58 degrees, right? Depending on where you're at, they should be like stomping. Like, they should be stomping it. And instead, like, it's like we can't even hardly get a bite doing anything. Like, anything. And if we were at any lake in the United States and it was like this, the water temperature is a good color. I mean, everything. And it's like, I have no idea they should be stomping it. And I... <laughs> I don't know. It's almost like they died over winter. I doubt it, but I'm just like just just guessing. And this is practice hook. So if you see me dealing with this, guys, I keep I actually keep all my practice hooks right here. You know, if I get a bent tip, I just kind of pin it in the carpet right here and fix it. So this is an old junkie hook, not tournament hook, so don't be commenting on that. But anyways, they should be, like, gagging. And instead, it's like, it's almost like, you know, they don't even exist in the lake. And I know that's probably not true, you know, if I had to guess. But I just, I have... I'm actually pretty speechless right now. Speechless. Water temperature's good. I'm gonna try a jig. See if I can't get something going on a jig. I don't know. I've tried. I've tried about everything I know to try. And, you know, oops, wrong box. I've tried about everything I know to try. And I just, I don't have a clue what to do i know y'all wanting to peek inside of here right we could go the old old school chunk on them let's let's go to old school chunk yeah we're going to old school old school chunk we're gonna let that slow fall down by their face i don't know here it is the last day of practice you guys have seen pretty much what what I've you know I've tried a little bit of this a little bit of that I've caught one one fish on a dern uh, on a spinner bait today and I actually caught two 12 inches which is pretty good you know 
it's sad when you're getting excited about catching non keepers so i got one keeper i know this there's going to be a lot of weight uh people following this and i hope i'm not one of them that's for darn sure well i'm trying to adjust now so switching jigs uh i've actually caught what i've caught on this all right enough rambling enough rambling you stupid dumb bass here we are i mean it's like six o'clock in the evening nice calm pocket a little feeder creek anytime that water is in the upper 50s in the evenings they come up in sun a lot of these lakes i mean i should be getting bit it's like i don't even have a clue what i'm doing a lot of times you can take <clears throat> what i like to use is of course my perfection head you see the stand up but i'll take and i'll i'll reel this across the bottom and it'll hold it up truly hold it up the swing impact head <clears throat> that stays on the bottom and so does this a lot of times they miss it but because i got the stand up head on it i kind of like to leave the hook exposed a little bit it doesn't matter that thing you, you almost use it like a swing impact head but like right now like at that little feeder creek dude it ought to be like see how i'm reeling it it ought to be like money money right there money and it's nothing this is probably about all i'm going to be doing tomorrow like just real and nothing happened like real i hope not as you can tell my attitude is not not too good right now so what do you do when you don't know what to tie on don't know what to do don't know where to go well i'm going to walk you through what i got so if you ever are in this situation you got to stick to your basic stuff right so i figure when it's tough you're not going to really you're not going to really try crazy stuff like in practice so some of the stuff that you're you know when they're biting you can experiment with different lures right something that you're like eh, maybe they might bite this you want to test out lures but when it's game time there's no testing there's really no testing lures so you want to stick to what's there so i'm gonna walk you through what i think even though i haven't got bit i'm gonna walk you through what i think you should get you should have tied on as you can see guys my trying to get y'all some footage got my sd cards extra batteries gopros laying everywhere spinner baits got just how did i get into this youtube world how did i do this all right so look, look here we go here's what david dudley is going to start the day with so we got us a yep that's a giant willow leaf so we got a giant willow leaf we got us a little colorado we got us a uh crawdad color crankbait and the reason i say that so guys when the water temperature starts getting low 50s to 58 and those crawdads start coming out of hibernation which means they're up underneath rocks all winter they don't even see a crawdad they're buried in mud or sand or wherever they're at and then all of a sudden it starts to get 50 and them things come out that's when their flavor goes good for crawdads we got of course 
we got to have some type of swim bait on. Like, that's just a must. And so we got the A3 uh, bladed bait, okay? Shutter blade, if you have not seen that, yes. Go check them out, a3anglers.com. It's my choice of bladed baits. How can you not have a wiggle wart on? How can you not? When the water's in the 50s, or actually 40s to upper 50s, and you don't have a wiggle wart on, yeah, you're messing up. We got us a te Texas rig, standard. You gotta have a Texas rig on. All right, so come here, check this out. What I like about this is I can actually take up my co-angler's position, my marshal, so I can stack my poles up here. So we got us a little flat side homemade balsa. Yep, we got us that in case we got to get in finesse tactics. We got us a little tiny compact jig. Oh yeah, y'all studying that, ain't you? Compact jig. We got us a little compact jig. And for desperate measures, we got us a Ned head. Yep, desperate measures. And probably this other pole is going to be a spinner bait. And that's about it. So think about what I just said spinner baits, bladed baits, a swim bait, a crank bait that goes about 10 foot. A square bill and guys that's that's like the staples so the staples are what's it I know I didn't get y'all much footage I know it didn't because it really has been that tough on me I showed you what I tried I tried from jerk baiting to flipping to spinner baiting I tried to get you guys and talk you through a little bit about what was going on but I hope you guys learned something through this practice video because you know you're getting real this is like real this is this is what it is i got my you know tournament season on the line going into this one and i've caught three keepers in three days so i say it all the time guys i appreciate you guys subscribing liking and commenting guys hit that notification button because that's a big deal if you don't hit that notification you're going to miss out on some of this and following this video of course is going to be the tournament footage and i hope i can get y'all something thanks for hanging with me and oh actually i got somebody lined up to do the outro so here he is right now all right, we got Tristan with us today who's going to be doing the outro. And guys, I appreciate you subscribing, liking, and commenting. I don't take it for granted. If you're new to the video or you see me out in public somewhere, come up to me. I'll record you doing the outro, and we'll put you in on the film. So, Tristan, I know my boy Tristan. He, I've seen him over there kind of getting jiggy with it. So, let's see the outro, Tristan.